All right, I'm gonna try and squeeze in a quick shrink ring. Shrink, shrink, ring, ring, ring. Let's try and start that again. <laughs> I'm going to try and squeeze in a quick shrink rip. Wow. I've just come off the back of doing a, a live session with uh, Eric from Eric's uh, Napoleonics game table. And we had mentioned the Pratson edition system and he hadn't had a chance to play it yet. Uh, the V for the Emperor uh, series. And lo and behold, I step out of the house after I have finished uh, doing that session with him. Uh, hence my croaky voice. Uh, and uh, what do I have but uh, these two volumes that have arrived. And a little, uh, little thank you to Legion War Games. I had made the mistake of ignoring their notifications that the CPOs were ready to be purchased and they have honored their uh, discounts to me uh, for the CPOs, despite the fact that they've been some, some period of time uh, after the fact that of when I, sh I should have paid. So that was very nice of them to do that. Wanted to talk a little bit about these two modules. The module 10 here, or volume 10, <clears throat> is pretty much, from what I understand, it's supposed to be more of an introductory module. So it's a, a one mapper, smaller battle. And then of course, this is, has three battles <coughs> that covers Yenna, Oerstadt, and uh, the Siege of Danzig. So I think that's gonna be pretty interesting. I'm gonna put this to one side and let's have a look at this. I will do a full, uh, sort of system breakdown and discussion of this system and what I believe is good and bad about it or, or uh, what the ups and ups and ups and downs of the system at some later point right now I'm really kind of excited just to get into the box and have a look uh, wonderful artwork on the on the cover of course and then in the back here it's just telling you where are we at 1813 what was going on a uh, little look at the the formations and the units on the back here who uh, design credits it's a regimental scale system uh 250 meter hexes 30 minute turns and so it it works uh and let's have a look inside it's got there's one map and a rule book and probably a scenario book as well so if, if, I, if i'm guessing uh, let's have a quick look here some dice and baggies Got to have those, got to have the obligatory full color advertising, and that's on thick, thick stock as well. I've got the, uh, the the Battles of Spain. Wasn't super impressed. Oh, that appears to be a different, oh, that must be an, an additional module. I don't have that one. I have one of the other modules. I'm just not super excited about the Spanish campaign for that for some reason. Uh, so full color special rules booklet for this particular battle. We'll have a look at that in a second. The standard and advanced rules, also in full color. So this is new. Uh, I'm not sure if the original Legion print job for Pratson Editions <clears throat> was in full color or not. I don't recall. The prior versions of the system when Didier Roux was doing his own printing, they were in black and white, and this is a significant improvement, and the layout is much, much better and easier to read, I can tell you that at a glance already. So, very happy to see this sort of formatting and layout, and nice big diagrams in full color. It's got a high gloss finish on the paper, it's quite thick and heavy, so very nice. No doubt, <clears throat> I'll be printing uh, printing my own copy out once the rules are available in PDF as well. Um, okay, yeah, it goes through all the standard stuff. And look, this is a this is a great level of of Napoleonics to play because it does have a, a graded level of command that you can choose. So there are five different levels of command that can be experienced and, and worked on, which I think is a critical part of any tactical game. And then the fire combat, the cavalry charges, forming squares, you've got all of that good stuff, the artillery, uh, no ricochet rules, but hey, you know, it's uh, it's got pretty much everything else. Uh, skirmishes, all this sort of good stuff uh, is all in here. Uh, the diff uh, cavalry differentiation and the advanced rules. And then, as I mentioned, the command and control stuff. And you probably can't see that very clearly. 
because I've got it laying down, but I can't make my camera lean over anymore because it'll just topple. So my apologies. Okay, so uh, we've got all that sort of good stuff uh, in here. I'm excited, excited about that. Clocks in, including notes, author's notes at about 30, well, 40 pages or so and 37 without, uh, without the uh, designer notes. Beautiful, beautiful artwork here. Very nice. All right, let's have a look at the actual game itself. As I said, this is a small battle, so we're not going to have a ton of units on the map. But I'll give you a look at these, and these are, these actually look a lot nicer than the original units that um, I've played with for the Battle of Waterloo and Wav and, and a few others. Uh, just cleaner and crisper is my general impression here with this. Really nice artwork on the map. And you'll notice that when you when you play this game, these games in this system, there's no hex numbers on the map. It, uh, in keeping, I think, with trying to give that periodic feel. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit here. Move the box from underneath. But it now does have setup zones by the looks of it on this map. That's different and new, but beautiful artwork here. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit for you. There goes the camera wanting to tilt. So there's the town or village of Hanau. Forest. Get a, get a little sense for what's going on there. And then game charts was the last thing. Pretty straightforward. How to read the units. Nothing on the back. Train effects. Uh, combat and fire tables also cleaned up and reformatted. Really nicely done, two of those. And then you've got your uh, tables to keep track of uh, morale and steps and things like that. So and a little turn track down here. So very cool. Really nice little production. So if you wanted to try this system, this is probably your battle to get into it relatively inexpensively. And uh, one, one sheet of counters, you can manage that. You can manage the basic rules, which let's see, they're gonna click in at uh, 25 pages of rules. So that's not too onerous. And a couple of pages of special rules here for the particular battle. And I'm pretty excited about it. So let's put the lid on that bad boy. And now, I may not go through every map and every counter sheet in here because this feels pretty weighty. But once again, we've got some baggies and appetizing material. And the standard advanced rules. And then now we're getting into the more substantial... One rule book for 1806 for scenarios and special rules. Being very, very interested in these battles being covered at a tactical level and a system that I can uh, currently manage. And this would be it. Uh, so I'm glad to see the 1806 uh, campaign get some love. And of course, then there's the siege. Danzig as well, which I'm sure is going to have a whole swag of uh, special rules. Uh, we'll have to work out how to deal with that at some point. Dealing with sieges and things, I've not done that before, so that'll be pretty interesting. Huh, Arcs of Fire. So let's uh, let's get some counters out and have a look. Oh, look, this siege map is going to be awesome. You guys are going to love this. So here are our counter sheets. Ooh, upside down. Here we go. Once again, beautifully laid out. Uh, just some pretty consistent coloring. Uh, coloring by formation here to help you keep track of things, I believe. This is gonna be used for uh, the, the siege. I guess we're gonna need this. <laughs> All right. 
front, and then the information canvas, and then the backs are just the different formations, I believe. You know, put them in column. Put your leaders in there. There's really the leaders here. All right, let's have a look at some maps. So let's have a look at the siege map first. Oh, it's quite, uh, quite substantial and big. Very different. No hexes. Check that action out. So I guess you're putting units along the walls here, from what I saw in the rule book very briefly. And we've got entrenchments. Staging areas. Siege map. Very interesting. All right, let me see if I can get the camera to stay up. Now, maybe uh, we'll put an advance onto this map. I don't know, because I haven't read all this. Yep, to the siege. Uh, maybe. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Yep. So this is the game crunch. Hopefully I'll edit that uh, drop out, maybe not. So here's your siege, siege area that you would then go to the siege map and you're gonna have the advance and all the rest of it here and whatever else goes on in this particular battle. I'm unfamiliar with it, do not know the details. And then the rest of this is going to be for the Battle of Jena, the east map. And you know, I would I would probably say my my quibble that I have with some of the compass maps will be the same here for uh, for Legion games with this high gloss sort of ink situation. You're gonna get you're gonna get that paint chipping off the creases pretty quickly. And in fact, you can see it here already. And it's already creased in, uh, and the paint and the ink's coming off here. Uh, and this is uh, this is the west map, so these are going to go like this. The game plays pretty pretty fast uh, once you know what you're doing. So that's going to be a big a big play area cover off on and then there's another one more map in here which will be for our stud and there we go so now you're seeing that as well pretty nicely done all right there you go obviously maps and charts sorry charts and other bits and pieces in here and uh, that's quite a comprehensive package. I'm uh, probably going to start off with uh, Hanau, and we'll uh, we'll go from there. All the best.